Kobe started uh, after my youngest daughter was diagnosed as autistic. And we started this journey to try to help her get an education in mainstream education. My reaction was anger, actually. I didn't want to believe that my daughter had a disability. I also have a disability. I'm dyslexic. I knew firsthand, really, the barriers that were going to face my daughter in life. I'm a designer, and I was asked actually to design a sensory room for a local school. It was there that I figured out that sensory rooms were a one-fit-all solution. While sensory rooms are great, they need an expert user. And what that indicated to me at the beginning was that we needed a space that automatically adapted to the person and the individual, and therefore helped them regulate quicker so that they could get back and participate. And that's why we came up with the cubby sounds, lights, visuals, seating, and the software that we built in to actually be able to adjust it and fine tune it to each individual. We train the school resources, the staff, how to introduce Cubby. We have an occupational therapist, we actually have two now that work for us directly, and we're, we're hiring more. And we provide that service to the school remotely. So the school goes through a very short process and we identify the best possible baseline program and schedule for the student. The vast majority of people get a real big benefit out of it. But not only in school, they're getting a benefit at home as well. Because what they're more regulated at school, it has a huge knock-on effect for the teachers, for the people that care for them, and for the parents at home. It's not aimed at a young age, it's not aimed at an old age, it's for everybody. And that's what we like so much about coming. This is a, a project of passion that is born from a real need and has been helping people in Ireland quite substantially. The main purpose of this is participation and helping people find their potential in life.